Hello everyone, in this video we will talk about truth table and how to construct a truth table and we will also look at an example from my math lab. We will start with negation. Um, negation is when a statement is given you make the statement opposite of that. For example, Austin is a city in Texas. Now negation of that statement will be Austin is not a city in, te in Texas, which is a false statement. Remember, a statement could be either true or false. So negation of a statement, let's say P, since we are dealing with one statement, would be either, we have two choices, either true or false. So negation of this true statement would be false. And if this statement is false, the negation will be true. N another type of statements are AND statements. AND statements are conjunctions statements meaning we're conjoining those two statements here we're dealing with two statements so we we have four choices of true or false um, conjunction is false unless both P and Q are true so only true conjunction is when P and Q both are true statements for example Austin is a city in Texas, which is a true statement. Austin is the capital of Texas, which is also a true statement. So conjunction for this statement t statements would be a true conjunction statement, which would be Austin is a city in Texas and Austin is the capital of Texas. The next statement we will look at is or statements or disjunction statements. Now disjunctions is true unless both P and Q are false. So it is true with almost all the choices except for when P and Q are false. And next statements we'll look at are conditional statements. If P then Q uh, meaning if hypothesis is true then conclusion is also true etc so conditional is true unless P is true and Q is false so, uh, false so only one way a conditional statement is false is when hypothesis is true and conclusion is false so if P then Q would be false in this case let's look at an example if points A, B, and C lie on line M, then they are collinear. So here we have um, hypothesis and conclusion. So our hypothesis is points A, B, and C lie on line M, and the conclusion is they're collinear. So of course we know the hypothesis is, is that uh, ABC is on line M and the conclusion that they're collinear and we know that it is true so it's a true conditional statement now let's practice a truth table with given statements here we have um, not P not Q P and Q not P or not Q and then negation of P and Q so let's why don't we try or you try to fill out these columns alright so here when we look at not P we have to look at P column and negate the not P values so if it's true then not P would be false, false, true, and true. Now not Q is false, true, false, and true. Now when we are taking AND statement, remember we're conjoining two statements so we look at these two columns P and Q 
and remember conjunction is only true when both values are true so in this row this is the only true value and for rest of them will be false false and false now here we are dealing with not p or not q so we are using disjunction and remember disjunction is only false when both of them are false I mean first row where both p and q the the not p and not q are false so so here this column is false and the rest would be true true and true now the last column we are dealing with and statement the conjunction and we're negating the conjunction so we have to look at this column so negation of this one true is false and then the rest would be true because here the rest are false so here how it looks like when you complete your table so now let's look at an example from my MATLAB here's an example that I've taken out from your study plans it says make a truth table for the given statement the letters P, Q, R and S represent prop propositions so here's the statement R and not S so first we have to make not S meaning negate the S so here not S would be you look at the S column false and then this would be true false and true now remember here and meaning we're combining R and not S so you look at R column and the not S column that you just cre just created and remember N is only true when both of these are true so here if you look at this this is true and false that means this will be false this is true and this is true true and true will give us true and the rest will be false and false I hope this helped you this time and next video I will talk about converse and other types of statements